Hey guys, it's me now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we... Uh... Went into Silphco Tower. Again. And this time, we're actually clearing it. Uh, here is a protein, if you need it. I'm actually checking out previous rooms for items, because I just kind of like went into all this stuff. So, this room... I think I went to, like... One of the teleporters, and I was just like, oh yeah, that's it. By the way, the teleport that you actually need to go into is literally the first one on the second floor. Like, the one that I kind of walked past. That's the only one you actually need to go to. Once you get the key card, just on the fifth floor, I think. On the fifth floor. Wait, what's that? There's no more room for items! Oh no! What am I gonna do? Uh, dump a HM? No, I can't do that. Dump the, dump the escape rope, I'm clearly going to need that. Dump the full hill, I'm clearly going to need that. Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a lot of really strange random items. Also, there's, a, there's an elixir in the plant, I should probably point that out. I may as well actually show you that elixir on the fifth floor. I don't think I can pick it up though. <laughs> this is the problem, I got all these TMs and I just can't do anything with them. Uh, so anyway, so... Oh, nope, this isn't the floor, it's on the fifth floor. It's on the fourth floor. It's in... Okay, I think I've gone too far. Fifth floor! Hooray! Fourth floor. Okay, I was I was on the floor, I just went way too far. Okay, it's in one of these plants. It's in one of the plants. That's glorious. Thank you, Bulbapedia, for being so specific about which plant. Well, I didn't find it. I didn't find it, Bulbapedia. Either you're trolling with me, or... There's more plants. I don't think there are more plants. I don't think there are more plants. I think you're just trolling with me, Bulbapedia. Well, apparently it says there's an elixir in a plant. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm getting a bit lazy at doing this, but seriously, like... I've got- I filled out all my item slots. Cause I got so much random stuff like X accuracies and stuff. I don't need. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Scientist. May your loyal soldiers that will fight until the very end. Well, that's what you say. Uh, by the way, when I said the teleport on the second floor, I meant the teleport on the third floor. You know, the, the one behind the first door. Also, Moopy, can you survive an electro? Who here is going to survive it? Well. Bubba will survive an electro. Hey, Bubba! Oh, my defense. Mega Drain! Because clearly he's going to attack me. This is what Mega Drain looks like. It doesn't do a lot of damage, you know, when you compare it with something like a Razor Leaf. However, it does replenish half the damage that you deal as health, and it is pretty useful in that regard. There is a- I don't think there's a Giga Drain in this game, but in later games there are. It's got a Razor Leaf. It's got, it's got the critical hit chance. That's pretty much right. Also, I love how this guy talks about his Pokemon plural. Okay, so where does this teleporter go? Hello? Wah! I'm scared. Yeah, okay. Sure. What floor am I on? I don't even know. I think this is the... What floor is this? This is the 10th floor. Someone got into the 10th floor. Okay, we'll head into this one. Which will send... Oh. That, that clearly served great purpose. Oh, this one sends... Oh, this one. Let's see, I think I've done everything. Oh, I haven't done... 
anything on the ninth floor. And I think I'm on like the tenth floor. No, I'm not. I'm nowhere near the ninth floor. Like, I legit have not done anything on the ninth floor. Okay, so ninth floor, let's do it. Because it's just like the ninth floor is the only thing that's left. So, anyway, so if we look at the ninth floor, it's a really empty room. Legit, that room is just completely empty. And there's another door over here, except you can just access it from the right, so. There's a dude. Oh, yeah, we did fight that guy. Which means we must have fought the dude down here, yeah. I just never went into the door over here, okay. Well, there is a door down here, and you may- I think this is actually, like, something I should have done way long ago, but okay. And that is... There's a max potion, but I don't have any room for it, so... <laughs> this person heals you! Go to her! She heals you! Oh my goodness, this is the best thing ever. Now, so, I think this is the only guy I've really got to fight. Because I think, uh, oh, there may be people on the 7th floor. I, I really haven't done anything on the 7th floor, but... Yeah, there's still quite a few people on the 7th floor. Uh, slam! Well, I've done the 6th floor. I've done the 5th floor. I'm asleep. I've done the 4th floor, I think. Oh, but have I done... Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Yep. So I pretty much just got, uh, the 7th and the 6th floors? No, the 7th and the 5th. Ah, oh, I lost count. Maybe I said the ninth floor. I just went through the ninth floor. It wasn't the 8th floor, because I'm pretty sure I just went through the 8th floor. But I'm still missing a Rocket Brother somewhere. There's no bonus in fighting the Rocket Brothers, if you're wondering. Wait, what?! I know confusion confuses you, but that that's just painful timing right there. Also, this guy has more Pokemon, right? Well, I'm level 36, so... I'm okay with that. Oh, he's about to use Grimer! Ah! Grimer, my weakness. Snoozoo! You can do this. Boo! 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 Uh, so yeah. So I'm a little bit lost. I have no clue what floors I've actually been on. But judging from this map, judging from this map, I've done the 10th floor, I can assure you that. This is the 9th floor, I've pretty much done that. The 8th floor, I think there's... I'm not 100% sure I've looked at everything on the 8th floor. 7th floor, I've definitely got a lot of things to look at. He's about to use the trop, yep. Snorlax, best, best option. 6th uh, floor, I can definitely tell you I've done that. 5th floor, I think I've done that. Probably have done that. 4th uh, floor, yes. 3rd floor, yes. And 2nd floor, yes. So pretty much... I'm just gonna head up to the 10th floor. Or the 8th floor. Was it the 8th floor? Yeah, the 8th floor, because I'm not 100% sure I've done that. However, this one, drop, this teleporter actually dropped you off here. Uh, next to this guy. This is the teleporter you want to go into, by the way, this one, on the 3rd floor. But I'm gonna head up to floor 8, because I'm not 100% sure I've actually done everything on floor 8. I don't think I've ever been up to floor 8 yet. Uh, oh, I think I should have. I just don't know how much I actually did. Well, I fought this guy. I have... get lost in this place. I've even got a map and I can't tell where I'm going. I fought this dude. And I know that that teleporter goes into this room up here, so I think... Okay, that's okay. So all I've got to do is check out the 7th floor. I talked to this dude and this dude's like, I wonder if self is finished. But I haven't checked out anything on the 7th floor. This 
guy's a rocket brother? Yep, he's the last rocket brother right there. I like that that's kind of a neato aspect. You know how you got a little bit of consistency. Just a little bit, not a lot bit though. Ooh, he has a hundred health. And he still can't beat a Cubone in one hit. Or two hits for that matter. Wrap him. Just wrap him. It's the only way. It's the only method. You just need to weaken him with wrap. Weaken him until he's fainted. That's my strategy. Right there. I could license it, except it's, everyone kind of used it. And he's about to use a Cubone. Oh my goodness, a Cubone? I've never fought one of those before. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cubones. Ah, he clubbed me. And he leered me as well, which means that could have killed me almost. But it didn't. Uh, Grabo. Do it, Grabo. Do it for the team. Get bone clubbed for the team. Okay, sure. Strengthen. Strength in numbers. And then it shows like a picture of the game code, yeah. We defeated the rocket. So uh, what do we get after beating all the rocket bones? Ah, nothing. Yep. Here's a room. I don't have room for this, so I'm just gonna dump whatever useless item I have. Awakening, yeah, there you go. Seriously, that thing costs less than a Pokeball. TMO3! That sword stance, that could come in handy? I don't know if it will. I think I fought this dude already, though. No, I haven't. Child intruder, that must be you! I'm ten years old! Sandro. Sandro. Okay, well, Moopy, I think you're a bit low health. So I'm just gonna switch out a Bubba. How do you miss? How do you miss? It's Razor Leaf. How do you miss with Razor Leaf? How do you miss twice with Razor Leaf? Why do I always keep... Why does everything that happened happen twice? Everything seems to happen twice in a row and I have no clue why. But it just does. Hooray! Bubba Games experience. It's about to use Sand Slash, yep. I'm not even going to try. Just raise a leaf that sand slash. Hi, I'm nine levels above you. That crit, that hit was a crit. Okay, Bubba, you just seem to level up, even when I'm like, oh, I'll just casually use you just to beat these two ground types. Okay, so that's all for to go somewhere. No clue where. There are still two trainers left. Actually, there's quite a few trainers left, but it's not gonna. That one. It's pretty much the only other trainers are. Oh my gosh, four Pokemon! Radicate! My goodness. Uh, Grabo, you can do this. Grabo! Ah, quick attack. Sworn enemy, quick attack. Uh, guillotine. I know I'm six levels above you and I should be able to kill you in one hit anyway, so I'm just gonna use strength. Just wasting my time with quick tech probably isn't the best thing. And that's what I mean. It's just like you get them mostly down, but uh Is there a bit of code that's just like, if you're going to kill them, sometimes we decide not to. Because I swear Grabo should be killing these or defeating them in one hit. But he's not. Oh, but he can defeat the Arbok in one hit! Okay, so there's a coughing. This guy is a great variety of Pokémon. Ah! You thought you could get me with your high defense. Go back! Get off the screen! There you go, critical hit. Boom. There you go, Grabo has 100 health now. Yay! 
Lights out. Bingo! So if you open this door, these people are like, you, it's really dangerous here, you came to save me, you can't. What? It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Silver Eye Pokemon. If only there was someone who I actually knew here. You're after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. There you go, there's your intention right there. Yeah, so Sylph have invented a Pokeball that can catch any Pokemon ever. It doesn't try, it literally does it. Eh, eh, you mistook me for a Sylph? No. Scientists are just like, ugh. And they've got electrodes. I don't want to deal with that. I don't even want to deal with it. Hey! Okay, clam clam. Because he's got a mark. Mark! And then I'm just like, Ice Beam, man. He's like, no, I am a frozen pile of sludge. Poison gas, but I don't have a nose. I'm done. And there's an item. Why have I got two Pokeballs even sitting here? I'm just gonna dump them. This is the dumping every item. And it's calcium, so. It's stuff that I can sell, but it's just stuff that I will never use, because. To be honest, throughout the main course of the game, all of these Pokemon are just gonna reap up the effort values. Effort values actually work a little bit differently between this game and... I wish I just kind of have two flights of stairs between this game and later generations. Um, I would like to talk about them, but they're a little bit confusing. And to be honest, to be honest, there's no one plays competitive first gen, so... I mean, I mean, a lot of rules from competitive, or a lot of um, tactics from competitive first gen do apply in in later generations as well as the single player of this game, which is why I'm kind of talking about them. But there's not a lot of. Um... There's not a lot of uh, saving. Anyway, yeah, blue is here. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know what's the best part? He's still got five Pokemon. He does have a Pidgeot though. Oh, uh, let's see. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Pidgeot! It's the evolution of Pidgeotto at level 36. Um, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, his Pidgeot will know Wing Attack, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. So, not a lot of uh, terribly strong moves. But definitely, definitely, he's going to be quick, he's going to be using quick attack, and he's going to be getting a lot of crits. I'm just going to hope Rap does something. Having said, I do, I do have quite a few Pokemon, but the thing is that, the thing is that all of his Pokemon are higher level than me. And by all of his Pokemon, uh, more so, his, uh, Execute, which he hasn't evolved yet, interesting choice. Uh, is level 38, and his starter is level 40. And yes, his starter has fully evolved. So now you get to see his starter at its max level, uh, at its max evolution. Uh, so yeah. Whirlwind? Why do you keep using Whirlwind? I am still surprised this still works. Oh, potion. Just a regular potion. Really? Ah! Big attack. No, I'm good. No, I'm bad. Slam him! Slam him! Slam! Get him! Oh. And then wrap him. Oh no, he's got a quick attack. He's gonna kill me. Yes! Boom, Moopy! You represent me very well. Uh, so now he's gonna send out Execute. Oh, okay. Uh, he's jumping the gun here. Uh, now he's still got... Uh, same thing, he will use his exit. Uh, this Pokemon will be the same type as your starter. So, he's still got the execute. Uh, this one is level 38. 
It knows Reflect, Hypnosis, Leech Seed, and Stun Spore. None of those are actually damage dealing attacks. Except for Leech Seed. Leech Seed will do damage. So, I'm gonna want to take him out as quickly as possible. So, I'm gonna send out Clam Clam, because Clam Clam is Ice type, and Ice is super effective against uh, Grass. Uh, now, he will have. Um, I think the moveset of this Pokemon will be the same if you chose Charmander, it's just that it's the lower level one. Um, however, he will. Uh, if you chose Charmander or Squirtle, he will have a Growl of Summer on his team, and that will know Raw, Ember, Leer, and Takedown. I think that's the same types that he's had before. Uh, so Gyarados. Gyarados is Water Flying, may I remind you, which makes it extremely vulnerable to electric attacks. Uh, his Gyarados will know Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Leer. Dragon Rage, by the way, always does 40 HP of damage, which is kind of mean. Hydro Pump is the most powerful water type attack in the game. The level 38 one will be very tricky if you chose, um, uh, Squirtle. Of course, if you have an electric type, then it's easy. Uh, now he's got an Alakazam, everybody has this. Uh, his Alakazam will know Psybeam, Confusion, Disable, and Recover. Now, that sounds pretty bad, but just get a, get a good physical attacker, so I'm gonna send out Snorlax. Uh, so yeah. It's level 35 as well, so don't worry about it being too strong. It's just kind of strong. And a nice confusion. And Psybeam. And it's Alakazam. And it can confuse you. And that gets really annoying. Holy crap! Why are you using Recover? I haven't hit you yet! Now I've hit you! Now you. Oh, oh, oh! Boom! What now? What now? What now? What now, haters? This is, this is why Body Slam is really good for, um, Snorlax, because, because if you do pull off the Paralyze, it slows your opponent down, and they never see it coming! Seriously! Side Beam. Ooh, Nose Laser. That's Hyper Beam. Thankfully, he's Paralyzed, so I'm just gonna Body Slam her again. Yeah! Okay. Now, I haven't used Bubba in this battle. Seriously, all those Pokemon are stronger than me. This isn't actually going to change, because, uh, Clam Clam. Now, now, this is Charizard. He is the final evolution of Charmander. Uh, he evolves from Charmeleon at level 36. Uh, he will know Slash, Ember, Leer, and Rage. So, Ember is a, not a very strong fire-type attack. Uh, however, Slash is a high critical hit chance attack, and because Charizard has a speed stat higher than 64, that means that, that will always crit. Uh, on top of that, he does know Leer and Rage, so be a bit careful. Uh, if you chose Charmander, he will have Blastoise with Bubble, Water Gun, Bite, and Withdraw. Yeah, I know. His, um, his, uh, Gyarados, Hydro Pump, yes. His Blastoise, Bubble, and Water Gun. What do you mean Bubble Beam? You'd think that. Uh, so yeah, so Blastoise is the evolution of Squirtle at level, or War Turtle at level 36. Um... Now, I am Water Ice, so he will do normal damage on me. Uh, so yeah. And of course, if you chose Squirtle, he will have a Venusaur that knows Leaf Seed, Vine Whip, Poison Powder, and Razor Leaf, which is actually the meanest one. Uh, that's the evolution of Ivysaur at level 32. Um, you know, that actually went a lot better than I expected. I think it's just because I, I take them down really quick. So yeah. Anyway, well, being now, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I've become the world's most powerful trainer, which is why you beat me every single time we battled. He doesn't even do the swirly. He gives you Lapras, by the way! Call him Ness Ness, but unfortunately he's not gonna be a member on my team, so he's gonna be sent to the Pokemon box. This guy gives you Lapras. Um, I haven't written a bio on Lapras actually. Uh, basically Lapras is a very good uh, water ice type. It's um, hold on. yeah, Lapras is a very good water ice type. 
He's got pretty good base stats overall, and his HP is pretty high in general. Uh, on top of that, you know, he's, he's got good stats, so you can withstand a lot of stuff. Not the fastest thing in the world, but hey, he's pretty alright. And plus, he's given to you. Like, if you don't have a good water type, you may as well use Lapras. He's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, only bad things I can say is that, you know, his speed is a little bit low, but yeah, I think he's generally pretty good. I still will use, um, uh, Cloyster. I prefer Cloyster over Lapras. Um, but, you know, I think Lapras is pretty good in general. Uh, so after that healing, head up to the roof and, yes, that's two bosses in a row. And another guy in the way. That is the most disappointing thing. You're just like, yeah, I'm gonna fight GFI. Oh, that's not good. Seriously, you get the guy who gives you Lapras. You think you're all awesome. Nope. Nope. Boopy, come on, slam him. Level 32. He is kind of strong. By the way, if you if you could beat Blue without losing any Pokemon. Don't worry about Giovanni. Like, he's really easy. Oh my gosh, Moopy. Moopy, just keep going. I'm not gonna use Moopy in the, against Giovanni, though. Giovanni only has four Pokemon, though, so you're okay. Poison gas. Why does that never affect me? Maybe it's just got a low percentage chance of it's so low that it's zero. Moopy! Moopy! Oh, it's a Marowak, sweet. Seriously, I don't think we've seen a Marowak besides the ghost. Ghost Beach. Oh no, not Growl. My weakness. This is gonna take forever. This is going to take forever if he keeps using Growl. Oh my goodness, stop using Growl. Oh my gosh. Slam has a bit of crappy accuracy, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Can you just stop using Growl? There you go, that's a crit. I was wondering when that was gonna come. Uh, okay. Oh wow, I can use Moopy in the final battle. Yeah, didn't get wailed on. Please don't, okay. Yep, I'm gonna walk straight in. So anyway, yeah, so... They have a computer. How do I add layout? Ah, oh, being there, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown up matters, or experience a world of pain! Ah, ah, ah! There he comes. So, out of the frying pan and into the fire, we have to fight Giovanni again. Now, Giovanni is not that bad when you compare him to Blue. His Pokemon are generally higher level, but he only has four of them, so I guess it's okay. Uh, so his first one's a Nidorino that knows Horn Attack, Poison Sting, Focus Energy and Fury Attack. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Unless you're faster than it. And he's using a guard spec. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. He's got a guard spec. And I missed Slam twice, yeah. Why do you use Focus Energy twice? You're smart. You're doing that. Poison Sting, no! My weakness! No. Poison Sting is so weak. Don't worry. Uh, now, Kangaskhan. So we've got Kangaskhan. It's only level 35. So, it's a bit weaker than you expect. Uh, it's, it knows Comet Punch, Rage, Bite, and Tail Whip. So, it kind of can take you out kind of quickly if you don't have good physical defense, which is why I really should have switched out to uh, Clam Clam. Because Clam Clam has great physical defense, and this is why... This is what it is. He's my physical wall. A lot of people use Weezing, I'm using Clam Clam. Seriously, look at that! Look at that, that's six damage! That's ridiculously good! Uh, now, I know he's gonna use Rage again, so of course, and Rage deals more damage the less health you have. So, technically, that's not the best example. I've just got my arms back in solid disbelief right there. Uh, now he's got his Rhyhorn. His Rhyhorn is level 37, it knows Horn Attack, Stomp, and Tail Whip. That's about it. Nothing else. No, not even evolve. I think it evolves at level 40, actually, so I think that's okay. Uh, but I'm just gonna raise a leaf. 
Hey, it's only two levels weaker than me, so I may as well. Now, finally, he has a Pokemon that we've never seen before. It's Nido. Dad, that? Nido Queen. Uh, Nido Queen, ground poison again. It's the evolution of Nidorina via Moonstone. Uh, who am I gonna use? I think I'll just use Bobber again. Uh, it knows Scratch, Tail Whip, Poison Sting, and Body Slam. It's actually pretty weak, except for Body Slam. Uh, you know, Nido Queen's alright. It's not too great. In the grand scheme of things, Weezing is a better poison type. And also, seriously, I'm like I'm gra I'm grass poison. His poison type attacks aren't, aren't going to help much, and his poison thing. So, so yeah. So Giovanni, not too tough. Ah, I got lost again. Last it all, you ruined our plans for Sylphco, but Team Rocket will never fail. But you know, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Anyway, if you head in and you talk to the dude, he's like, Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget your mo you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Yeah, maybe this will do. You have no room for it. Here, this will do. You don't have any room. I, I could toss... Alright, uh, get rid of the X accuracy, I'm not gonna need that. X items are so cheap. Blah, 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 you said this already. Blah, 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 blah. There's the Master Ball. The Master Ball catches anything without failing. This is the only one you can get in the game, though. The later games, you can get these as the max prize of a lottery, uh, which is really tough. Uh, you can also use a PC here, so I'm just like, stuff it. Let's box some of this stuff. I'm not gonna need the card key. I'm not gonna need TM26. Oh, there's no more room. Okay, well, let's withdraw anything that I'm never gonna ever use. Uh, HP ups. Yes. HP ups, while they do seem like PP ups, they're not. That's a trick. Uh, X special, I'm not gonna need that. Uh, might need those max potion X accuracy, there you go. I think I might need to deposit three more items again. I'll get rid of the HM and the TMs. Although, I am gonna need TM. Uh, actually, I'm good. There's only five TMs, so pretty much if you teach all, and you don't need fly. You don't need fly in particular. It's just nice to have because you can fly anywhere you want. And by anywhere, I mean specific locations that may or may not relate to the plot. Uh, let's see. No, iron. That's why I need to pick up. Yep, item sorting at the end of an episode. Gotta love it. Uh, I'll keep the elixirs. I might need them. Calcium. There you go. That's one. Nugget, I'm gonna need that. I'm not gonna need the Master Ball for a while, let me tell you that. Uh, and also, did I put the Lift Key away? I'm not gonna need the Good Rod. I might put the Old Amber away, because I'm not gonna need that either. So this is what happens, you run out of item space. Uh, let's see, what else will I need? Oh, that's it. That's all the stuff I have. Okay, well... With that, we've finished the Sylphco Tower. After you've beaten Giovanni, the entire... All the Team Rocket people just go away. And that gives us the ability to get a few things. Uh... But I'll go on that next time, because... We're going to fight the gyms! We're going to fight two gyms next part, and possibly three if if Sabrina's gym goes really quick. I don't think it will, but may as well. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then. Where the heck is the Pokemon? I don't know. Oh, Miss Psychic's house. 
It's just there on the river. I don't even know why the heck the mart is all the way over. Why did you fly all the way here, you fool? I'm going to sell all my stuff right now. Once the episode is over, then I can't stop singing bad. Oh well, I guess it's just a 